Hello friends, welcome to Research Tips. In this video, I will give you some inputs about how do you identify the right sample size for exploratory factor analysis and structural equation modeling. Now we know that uh, uh, both exploratory factor analysis and structural equation modeling are a large sample technique. It is said that if you have uh, one item, then you should typically have 10 respondents or subjects in your sample. That means if you have a, uh, a scale of 40 items, you should have a sample size of 400 subjects or 400 respondents. But let me tell you, this is not exactly right. Uh, D. Willis, uh, in his book uh, on scale development and chapter six on factor analysis, writes that five to 10 subjects per item is right till you have about 300 subjects in your sample size. But this ratio can be relaxed for sample size of 300 or more. He also reports that actually, if you look at all research that is published on scale development and factor analysis, the median sample size is about 150. Comrie 1973 reports that a sample size of 200 is fair, 300 is good, 500 very good and 1000 is excellent. And Comrie 1988 reports that if you have items of 40, or less in your scale, then for exploratory factor analysis, a sample size of 200 should be good enough. So friends, uh, the advice here is, that research tip here is, that if you have a sample size of 200, you can still go ahead and report to conduct exploratory factor analysis. Don't get bound by this rule of 10 is to one. That is not applicable. And you can report these references to support your argument now let us come to sample size for structural equation modeling i want to show you a conceptual model in a paper that i published in 2022 in personal review this was a model where i tested sequential mediation between pfp pay for performance and job performance i had four latent constructs pfp procedural justice, OCB, and job performance, and three other latent constructs, group-based pay, seniority-based pay, and job security that I had modeled as control variables. Now, in order to do this, uh, analyze this model through structural equation modeling, I had to compute my sample size. Now, how do you do that? There is a very good sample size calculator that you can see on this link. And let me show you this uh, site has a lot of calculators for statistics. If you go down, you will see sample size and a priori sample size calculator for structural equation models. Now, when you click on this, you would see that a table like this opens up where you are asked to input some parameters. Anticipated effect size. What is the minimum effect size that you would like to compute? Typically, we say that 0.3 is a small, not very small, but reasonably small effect size that I want to be get detected in my structural model. Desired statistical level or power level uh, is 80%, which is a convention. Number of latent factors in my model, I had seven, four main constructs and three control constructs, control variables. The overall items, observed items were 29 in my model. The alpha, the significance level is 0 0.05. Now, when you press calculate, it presents to you the sample size required to detect effect, sample size, uh, which should be good for your structural model and a recommended minimum sample size, which is 170. So that means again, a sample size of 170 is good enough. Now, if you want to, you can do different permutations and combinations. For example, let's say you want to detect a very small effect size, everything else remaining the same. Because you have to detect a small sample size, you will see that the 
uh, effect size is 0.1 you want to detect a small effect size you will see that the sample size goes up which is about 1800 so 0.3 is good enough if you want to report in your works now let me show you how i reported this in my research paper i said in order to test this model we used a a priori sample size calculator to determine the sample size given the number of latent constructs as i told you i had seven latent constructs pfp group based pay seniority based pay job security these three were controls group based pay seniority based pay and job security procedural justice ocb performance and pfp were the four main constructs observed variables were 29 i give details nine items were for pfp two items for group based pay two items for seniority based pay two items for job security four items for procedural justice nine items for ocb and one item for job performance anticipated effect size was 0.3 level of significance was 0.05 and statistical power was 0.08 so the sample size calculator indicated a minimum sample size of 170. Then I also cite other references. I cite Combray and D. Willis, which I just talked about, that a sample size of 200 is good enough if you have 40 or less items. Klein, which is another, Rex B. Klein is a very standard book on structural equation modeling on page 12 this book reports that a sample size of 200 is reasonably okay and it is it approximately the median sample size in surveys of published articles in which SEM is reported so around 200 is something that should be okay and you can go ahead and and so this is what I had I had a sample size of 226 in this paper which I then went ahead and did my analysis so friends you can use this information to compute sample size in your uh, for your own study these are some references you can find this pdf and also my research paper that I talked about in the link that is given in the comment section of this video I hope you will find this uh, video useful for your research and I wish you the very best for future. Thank you.